Hi, my name is Sean. I'm with the New York City Guitar School and today I want to show you how to play California Rain, which is one of the new songs by Current Joys. Uh, so to start off, this song is actually in E-flat standard tuning, so you're going to want to tune each of the strings on your guitar down a half step uh, if you want to play along with the recording. If not, it doesn't really matter, but this tutorial I'm going to be playing in E-flat standard, so... Let's go over the chords really quick. I'm just going to call the chords by their names as if they were in standard tuning, um, sort of like if we had a capo on. So our first chord shape is going to be a C add 9. This is going to have your second finger on the third fret of the fifth string, your first finger on the second fret of the fourth string. You're going to skip the third string and put fingers 3 and 4 on fret 3 of the second string and fret 3 of the first string. You're going to strum from the fifth string down. It'll sound like this. Our next shape is going to be A minor. This is going to have your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string, your third finger on the second fret of the third string, and your first finger on the first fret of the second string. You're going to strum from the fifth string down again for this one. And on the third bar of this tune, they actually take this A minor shape and make it an A sus2. So all you have to do for that is to just lift up your pointer finger and strum the same strings. It'll sound like this. We're also going to use the G chord. This has your second finger, third fret of the sixth string, first finger, second fret of the fifth string, and then your third finger, third fret of the first string. You can strum all of the strings for this one. The last chord we'll use is your F bar chord. I believe he's doing the big version of this chord where you have your pointer finger all the way barred across the entire first fret, third finger, third fret of the fifth string, fourth finger, third fret of the fourth string, and then your second finger is going second fret on the third string. You can strum all the strings for this shape. If you're not all the way there with the bar chords yet, you could also opt to do like a little F chord, which is just those top notes where you're barring the pointer finger on just strings two and one. And then for this shape, I would play from the uh, fourth string down. But if you need to, feel free to go back in our page. We have tons of content talking about the bar chords and a lot of different intermediate guitar techniques. Links will be in the bio. So looking at the intro of the song, which just happens one time before the verse kicks in, we have two bars of the C add 9 shape. We have a bar of A minor going to A sus 2. And then our fourth bar has G going to A minor again. And our kind of main rough strumming pattern for the intro and the verse is going to be counted like this. One, two E and a, uh, E and, four E and. So you have a, a quarter note, a set of sixteenth notes with a tie going to a sixteenth and eighth, and then four more sixteenths. That's a lot to think of. The strumming pattern might make it a little bit easier. It's going to go down down, up, down, up, fake strum down, up, down, down, up, down, up. One, two, E and, up, E and, four, E and. When you get to these split measures here, You're going to change to the second chord of the measure on the E and. Same goes for that last measure. So when I put that intro together, From there, he's going to get much quieter for the verse, but it's still going to be the exact same progression. In 
and so on and so forth. So if you have the intro, you have the verse down already. Other than that, there's just going to be a couple different variations on the chorus and the solo section, which is also a variation on the chorus. So the chorus, we have the F chord, splitting a measure with the C chord, the G chord, splitting a measure with the A minor. The way I wrote out the chorus, there's going to be a first and second ending. And the first ending is just as written, so F to C. G to A minor. And then you repeat. Then we come up on the second ending. And that very second ending is just going to cut back to the intro instead of playing that last A minor chord. So that's the trick. It just happens during the first chorus. They just, they just cut back to the intro on what I wrote as the second ending. Uh, in place of that A minor chord the very last time. Then you're back to the verse and back to a chorus, and the, the second chorus is going to be only slightly different. It's going to be just the same F, C, G, A minor, F, C, G, A minor. And you could consider that second set of chords uh, the first ending this time. Uh, we go back around, F, C, G, A minor, in the very last progression, they're going to go F, C, G, but instead of going to A minor, they just go back to C. And that's going to be a theme for both the second chorus and the guitar solo, uh, the very last measure, so it'll be the, the fourth time through the progression. Instead of going G to A minor, they're going to go G to C. And the little solo section at the very end, that kind of like cool, like anthemic solo that happens, um, that's going to be exactly the same as the second chorus. The only other detail you can add is uh, they, they add some triplets in where they go. And that happens the second time around on the G to A minor. Uh, instead of doing the typical strum pattern, they go triple it, triple it, triple it. And they, let, they hold that last one out, but you can hear it in the recording. They do it both when it's very loud and they do it once again uh, at, the, at the very, very end of the song when it gets quiet. And that's just a little detail you can throw in if you're playing along with the recording. So in summation, you have your intro, a verse, a chorus, uh, a second ending that takes you back to the intro, uh, a verse, uh, a chorus, the second chorus is slightly different, and then the solos. And that's it. That's how you play California Rain, which is the new song by Current Joys. I really hope you enjoy this video. Feel free to leave us a like, a comment if you have a suggestion for a song you'd like us to tutorial on. And yeah, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.